let's look at some problems, problems involving, involving parametrics and putting, putting all, all the stuff, stuff we've learned about, about chords, chords, tangents, the chords, chords of contact, and, 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 and solve, solve the problems, problems and, and, and see how, how we go with these. these. So, so the, the first, first question here, we've got a tangent in the normal form, but x squared is equal to 4y, so a is equal to 1. At a point 2t, t squared, and pass through that point, P minus, minus 1, 1, 2. Prove, Prove that you can get t squared plus t minus 2, and find the two, two equations of the two, two tangents can be drawn to the parabola from p. Okay, okay. So, so again, again like we've done before, we get our first derivative. derivative. At, At x, x equal to 2t, we get our equation of the, the tangent being equal, being equal uh, so the value, value of the gradient, gradient being t. t. So, so our equation, equation, we put in our values in, in. we've got 2t and t squared, so we sub that in. We've got a gradient of t. So we're, so we're able to get in our gradient at that, that value there. there. So, so that's sorry, our, our equation and our tangent there. there. So, so at, at we, we put, put the point, point in, and we get, get an equation in t, in t which, which is going to be a quadratic. quadratic. And that's, that's what, what we, we want, want to get. get. So, so prove that, that t squared plus 2t two two is minus 2 is equal to 0. zero. So, so from, from that, we need to go to the next one, the next part, which would be to solve that quadratic. And we get minus 2 and 1. Now, now we, we know, know uh, we know that, that we need to get, get those two values, values. And, and because, because we, we can substitute the, 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 the values back, back in, in the t into that, that equation, equation. Remember, remember that's that's, that's, that's given, given to us by, by the equation, the equation of the tangent, the tangent there at, at that, that point that goes, goes through that, that point. point. So, so when we've got, got that, that, we can substitute that and, and get, get the two tangents there. So we substitute minus two in. And we get 2x plus y minus 4. Sub, Sub t, t we get uh, x, x minus y minus, y minus, minus 1. 1. When, when t is equal to those two values. Two values. And what, what are those two values giving us? It's going to give, give, us give us two tangents that can be drawn, drawn to the, the parabola from, from that point, point p. p. So, so we've got, got the tangent, we've got a point, and we've got the... There's always going to be two tangents that can be drawn from any point that's outside the parabola. So that's where we get... That's what we've got from that one there. In the, In the next, next question, question, we've got, got find two tangents tangent drawn, drawn from that, that point, point to the parabola, parabola, this parabola. parabola. X, X squared equals to 12y. And as we just said, said any, any point, point we've got there, we can, we can draw, draw two tangents, tangents to that. that. So, so in a general, general form, we know, we know that, that a is equal to 3. three. So, so at, at a general, general form, we can, we can draw, draw a tangent up that, that would be from 6t, 3t squared. Now what we want to do is find the specific tangents that, that will go through the point, point minus, minus one, one minus, minus two. two. There's, There's obviously, obviously two tangents that, that will go through that, that particular point. point. So, so that's where, where we get the 6t and the 3t squared because a was equal to three. three. Because it's 4a wise, so 4a was 12, was 12 and, and so a was, a was equal to three. three. And then so we're, we're able to get, get our equation, equation of tangent. tangent. So, so we can prove that. that. We, you, you remember, remember the, the format, format, you can put, put it straight, straight in. And, and then, then sub three in. in. So, so as it passes through the two ones, ones we've, we've done, done the same, same again. again. We, we get, get our two values. values. We, get we get a quadratic, quadratic in t to get, to get our two values. values. Once, Once we've subbed in the values of x and y, we've got three unknowns. We get an x, we get a y that pass through, we get a quadratic in t. So again, we've... From, from that quadratic, quadratic we, get, we get, go back, back to, to our tangent, tangent that we, we had there, there, and we know that's, that's going to be equal to zero, zero. So, so we sub, t is equal to minus two thirds. Two thirds. We, we come, come down, down and spin our values, values out, out, as we, we had, had there, there. And, and we come, come down, down to two works plus three, three y plus four. four. When two is equal to one, we sub it in, and we're going to get the other tangent. There's two tangents that go from that one point through to the parabola. So it said, Two, two tangents, tangents will always, always come, come from one point, point outside, outside the parabola. So, so then the question, question three, you've got a point, point a P is a point, point on the parabola, parabola any, any point, point except, except for the vertex. vertex. And then the normal and the tangent at the at P, P meet the, the axis of the parabola of N and T respectively. So, so that's, that's what, what we've got. got. We draw it up, we've got that tangent and the normal. And basically, basically we're, we're looking, looking at the two, two points, points there. there. N, N where, where the normal, normal touches, T where, where the tangent touches, the y-axis, all the axes of the parabola, parabola which is going to be the y-axis because x squared is equal to 4ay. So, so um, it doesn't, doesn't actually, actually say that, that but we're, we're assuming, assuming that that, that because that's what we're working with every time. So the equation of tangent, 
well, well, again, again we, we, we know we, we can how to get, get the equation of the tangent, and, and on, on the y-axis, y -axis, we, get we get the point, point t is equal to zero, zero at minus at squared, by subbing zero, zero in. For the, For the norm, norm, we know what norm is, so we can get the equation of the norm, so it's set the x value equal to zero, and we get t, sorry, that should be n, being at zero, at squared, plus 2a. What's the midpoint of of n t, well, well, we, we sub the a's in, in. Well, obviously, obviously it's going to be zero because it's along the y-axis. And, and minus at squared, squared plus the at squared, squared plus 2a on 2, two. Well, well, they, they will cancel, cancel and the 2 cancels. cancels. So, so the focus, focus is the midpoint, midpoint which, which is what we want to define. The next, next part we want to look at is how is n going to move and p as it approaches the vertex? So what happens as the point here starts to approach the vertex? Well, you might, you might have, have a look, look at the, the tangent's actually going to start moving up this way because it's going to get closer to being the x-axis. The, x -axis. the, the horizontal tangent, tangent. that's what, what was said, said stated that at the, the start. start. So, so when, when we get, get closer there, the tangent, tangent starts to be I mean, flat, flat out, out, but, but the point, point at, at uh, the uh, uh, normal starts, starts to become more vertical. So what we're going to look at is, well, as that happens, at, At the, the vertex, vertex, we know, we know t, t is equal, equal to zero. zero. Was that the, the larger the value, value the, the higher uh, the, the, the point, point is, the higher the value, the higher it is up on the vertex, on the parabola. And, and so, so the closer, closer it is to zero, the, the closer we get, get to the, the, the uh, vertex. So, so as, as it approaches zero, t approaches zero. So we know t is going to approach the vertex because we sub the value in here, well, it's going to get a times as t approaches zero, that's going to get closer to zero. If we, if we look, look at at squared, squared that, that would approach zero, zero which is just going to lead, lead to a. So, so it, as, as it approaches the vertex, t approaches the vertex, vertex but, but m will approach the point, point zero, zero to a. a. So, so this is what we're getting, getting with that, that one there. there. So there's, there's a, couple, there's a few, few problems involved in the parabola. parabola. Um, um, the next, next video, video will keep going with some of these problems and see how we attack some of the different situations we're going to face with.